Hello and thank you for choosing Bellinger. We hope that the following video is informative. It's critical when diagnosing an issue to get some information first. This can be done by gathering information from the fault code screen, the alarm screen, and also the capture screen. If you need any further information, contact our parts and or technical support departments. All right, now we're looking at the entrance wheel cylinder, and these are the main parts of the entrance wheel cylinder. We have our clevis assembly. This attaches to the arm and the rod end of the cylinder. This is a six inch rod end of the cylinder. This makes the, the arm go in the majority of the way. We have our reed switch. Now, depending whether or not we're a driver's side pod or passenger side pod entrance wheel cylinder, we will have one reed switch or two. But with one reed switch, primary purpose of it is to read the outbound motion to let the system know that the brushes are out in the way. That would be our outbound reed switch. We have a flow control which controls the fluid in the air over oil canisters to control the speed of the brushes. And then the back end of the cylinder, we actually have a two inch stroke of the cylinder. That actually controls the wigwag motion as the brushes are going around the rear of the car. Now we're looking at the passenger side entrance wheel cylinder. Now this cylinder is actually kind of special because it has a secondary reed switch right here which reads the inbound motion of that passenger side brush. Now when that brush goes fully extended where the four, or four inch stroke and the two inch stroke of the cylinder is totally deployed, this secondary reed switch will turn on. What this does is that starts the wigwag motion in your programming. Now, in order to adjust that, you'll have that passenger side brush all the way in, its two inch stroke and four inch stroke of the cylinder, and then you will slide that worm gear clamp up and down the cylinder until you find that plunger inside, and the reed switch turns on, and then you tighten that down with your Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, here we're looking at the entrance wheel cylinder in the passenger side pod as it's installed on the freestyler. And right now you're seeing the outbound reed switch is currently on. This means that the entrance wheel passenger side brush is all the way out and towards the wall. Now, if this weren't on, what we would do is we'd loosen up this, this worm gear clamp and you could slide it up and down the cylinder until you find that plunger which is inside, once you find that plunger inside, the reed switch is going to turn on, then you're going to tighten that back down. Now when the machine is in its resting state and at the home position, we want to go from our main screen, go to user, and go to monitor inputs. And we want to verify that our exit passenger side out, exit driver side out, top wheel up, enter passenger side out and enter driver side out, ovals are all filled in. That means that the brushes are up and out and away and they're ready to have a car come into the car wash. The following screens will be a step-by-step -step summary of the video segment you just watched. 